Welcome to my channel, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Valentine's trinket dish. This is a small project so you won't need much yarn. I used a 4.5mm hook and iron weight cotton. You will also need scissors and a tapestry needle. To start, we're going to make a magic ring using the colour you want the base to be. At the start of each row we're going to chain one and now we're going to put 10 single crochets into the magic ring. Now pull the yarn at the back really tight so the ring is closed. Because we've reached the start of the next row, chain 1. For row 2, we're going to do an increase in every stitch until we have 20 stitches. And to do this, just put 2 single crochets in each stitch. For row 3, we're going to chain 1 and then single crochet into one stitch and increase in the next. And we're just going to repeat this until 30 stitches or until you've gone all the way around. For row 4, we're going to do 2 single crochets and then an increase, and we're going to repeat this until there's 40 stitches. This is how it should look at the end of row 4. And for row 5, we're going to do 3 single crochets followed by 1 increase until 50 stitches. This is how it should look at the end of row 5. Row 6 is going to be the last row with increases and we need to do 4 single crochets and 1 increase until 60 stitches.
Now we need to do three rows of just single crochets, so that's 60 stitches all the way around. When you get to the end of row 9, leave the last stitch on your hook. This is so we can switch to the colour we're going to be using for the heart. And to do this, just loop the new colour around and pull it through the two stitches on your hook. The colour change counts as chain 1, so now we're going to do one final row of single crochets all the way around. After single crocheting into the last stitch, we're going to slip stitch into the next one. Once you've cut the end attached to the working yarn, we need to pull it through the last loop. Now all that's left to do is to weave the ends in, and before I do that, I cut them shorter just to make it a bit quicker. This is what the finished dish looks like and now we need to make the heart. To start we're going to make a magic ring and the rest of the instructions on how to make the heart will come up on the screen. Make sure you leave a long tail attached to the magic ring because we're going to be using it for sewing.
Now that the heart's done, we need to cut the yarn and pull it through the last loop. We need to leave the yarn end that's in the middle for sewing, but we're just going to go and weave the other end in. Now we're going to attach the remaining end to a tapestry needle. We're going to go into the dish from the front to attach the heart. And now we need to sew all the way around the heart to make sure it's attached properly. This is what the finished trinket dish should look like. If you made this, then be sure to tag me on Instagram at Nocturne Knitting. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure to check out my other crochet videos. Thanks for watching!